A hydrogen atom initially in its ground state absorbs a photon and transitions to n equals to 3. A. What is the energy of the absorbed photon? B. If the atom eventually transitions back to the ground state, what possible energy photon or photons can the atom emit in the process? Ground state means n equals to 1. And then it goes to n equals to 3, so we need to find the energy for n equals to 1, which will be negative 13.6 EVs. The energy for n equals to 3 would be negative 13.6 EVs over 3 squared. And this gives me negative 1.51 EVs. So the difference is the upper state minus the lower state, because the upper state has more energy, negative 1.51 minus negative 13.6. So the energy involved is 12.09 EVs. That means it has to absorb a photon with that much energy. And then for part B, the transition going from n equals to 3 to n equals to 1, it can go straight down or it can go through n equals to 2. So it can first transition down to 2 and then to 1. So there are three possible energy photons. For 3 to 1, of course, that's the backwards of this. So it would give off a photon with the same amount of energy, 12.09 EVs. For these two transitions, we'll need to know the energy for n equals to 2. So E2 is negative 13.6 EV over 2 squared. And this gives me negative 3.4 EVs. That means from 3 to 2, the difference would equal to 3, negative 1.51 minus 2, negative 3.4, and this gives me 1.89 EVs. So this one is 1.89 EVs. And then the difference, if it goes from 2 to 1, would be the E2, negative 3.4, minus the E1, negative 13.6. And this one will provide a photon that is 10.2 EVs. So it's 10.2 EVs, 1.89 EVs, or 12.09 EVs. So it's either the combination of these two or that.